Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, Davis Wade Stadium, where they've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on a fellow SEC opponent, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Mississippi State about to put it away as we start the festivities. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Rebels offense takes the field to start this game off. The trophy might look like an egg, but you better not be fragile. You better have a hard shell if you're going to come out in this one, guys. And the three of us have called this game in the past. We've been in the stadiums. We've felt the hate between Mississippi and Mississippi State. Right, David? It's real, man. It's so cool to see. It's so important to both sides. Handling the emotion early will be a big deal. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. Here's the handoff. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Rebels took home the golden egg in a close one the last time they met. They don't care if it was close or a blow, they got the W. And they've been able to talk about it all off season long, and you can just feel the energy and electricity this year. Boy, and you know it matters. You're talking about all these kids in state talking about where do you want to go? Which side do you want to be on? Ole Miss winning last year matters when it comes to recruiting. Dances away from one. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Rebels will send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. So Mississippi State's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. This is just a great matchup to watch on the outside and who can win downfield in the passing game. Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game. Yeah, two alphas, two guys that play the positions where you have to have such confidence, cornerback, wide receiver. Let's see this throwdown. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete, now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? That'll be enough to give Mississippi State a fresh set of downs. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front, great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Hand off from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. So many rich layers in this one. Dak coming off the bench. Fumbles in the end zone to lose it. Legs being hiked. Coaches being fired. This has it all, guys. And such proud people in the state of Mississippi that love their football. And it feels like, Palmer, these games always come down to something at the end of the game that's so fun and controversial. What I love about this rivalry, too, is that historically there hasn't been a lot of conference championship implications or national title implications, but they play this game at the very end of the year, and it just matters so much in the state. Bragging rights for an entire season on the line. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. 
Looking for a man. It's Shapen. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Quarterback on the keeper. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. How easy was that? I mean, when you've got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's back to throw on second down. And that one's way too far for everybody. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. Got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executed at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. The pull and throw off the RPO. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The give to the left side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a full quarter game. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Holds it on the bootleg fake. That's reeled in. It's Watkins. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. A 
as we head to the quarter break, Mississippi State has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. The Rebels are flying down the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. So as a defensive guy, they line up in a formation. You know they're heavy on one side. And then all of a sudden, boom, two guys pull, and they go the other direction. So you can't really load up and play that. That counter keeps you off balance as a defense and makes you really be honest. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience, bounce that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bowl, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And the Rebels will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a first and ten. They are flat bailed out by the defensive penalty. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to lead more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. They'll put the tight end in motion. The inside handoff. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. To the air, it's dark. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your in-field goal range. What do you do here? And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And the holder will place it down on the left hash. A 47-yard try coming. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. That makes the score. Mississippi State, 7, Ole Miss, After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. And the quarterback knew that that counter run play was going to be successful. He did a nice job counting the box before the snap. He knew he had good numbers. He knew he had good angles and blocking. So that is a green lit play from the get go. Hand it off. Go make yards. And the pass is incomplete. Charged loose by the hit. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. 
We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. From the gun, the ground game. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Offense facing fourth down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Makes a move. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. And the Rebels want to move quickly. They'll try the run. Got enough for the first down and once more. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw again. Got the first down and still on his feet. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Rebels. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. And he can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners when he kicked it in gear and got the long touchdown run. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10 to 7. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he finished things off racing 53 yards for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They'll leave it with him. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Four wide out set, two by two on second and five. Back to throw. It's Shapen. He makes a catch. The expressway is wide open. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Mississippi State! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-way drive. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Sometimes it just takes an offense a little while to settle into the game, and David, it seems like they have here in the second. No doubt you get those nerves out. You get a few of those hits in. Everybody starts to get in a little bit of rhythm, and now you start to see it, Palmer. They're starting to put some points on the board. Yeah, they're lathered up, I think, on the field. I think the play caller has also gotten himself into a bit of a rhythm here, too. The incompletion brings up a second down. Looking to throw, it's dark. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Looking to throw for it. He's got an open man. Oh, look out on the right. He's at the 10. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Number three. This offense is high octane, boy. And you just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to house it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. And I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. On the run, it's shaping. Unloads to the wideout. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They took their time out of the gate, but now starting to try to take control of this game on offense here in the second quarter, Jesse. Yeah, and they're playing good complementary football up to this point, but this is a huge opportunity, David, for them to really create some momentum. Well, and the defense did such a good job keeping them in the game early. Now, holding down their end. Now get the offense rolling, put up some points on the scoreboard, and then you could really get dangerous in this ballgame. He's looking for a man on second down. 
catch in the middle it's wells they're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker that big pickup on what they call the drag round, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo booster. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down and wings it incomplete. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The fair catch called for and made. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive pickup. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off me, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and they just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Coleman. The thing I like about the slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Scanning the field, it's shaping. He lobs one high down the left side. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, it's one thing to have a rivalry game, but when you have two longtime foes separated by about 100 miles battling here in the Egg Bowl, you know emotions tend to run high. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Rebels will kick it off to start the second half. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. He's got trips left, single receiver ride on second and two. Back to throw, it's shaping. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. Muscling ahead on third and short. Gets away from one. He's got space. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Third down and two. You know it's time to get physical. And this unit paves the way, Jesse, and gets the big first down. And this back's got such a burst, too, doesn't he? As soon as he saw the hole, he exploded through it and picked up a huge chunk of yards. Mississippi State going up tempo.
They'll give it to him again. Picks up the first down. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Mississippi State lines up with a first and goal. He'll pull it on the read. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? The give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, this is tough. Second half of the game, you're down by three. You know a field goal is going to tie it, but this is a golden opportunity here, David, to take the lead. I think I'm going for the touchdown. Green light. I'm going for it. Second half, man, I can take the lead right here. I like my chances, and even if I miss, they got to go the whole length of the field. Going right down the boulevard. And guys, after that field goal, brand new ball game, all tied up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. They're strong, and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's really easy to be a quarterback in an offense that runs the football and then runs play action. It makes it simple. It makes the reads easy. It sucks the linebackers and safeties up where I can just make plays right behind them. The Rebels in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A strike downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Rebels with the first and 10. the play fake all kinds of room to throw that one in there he's brought down but he's got him inside the 10 first and goal from the eight love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field and he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up 
Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They're going to throw it again. Caught in the backfield, it's Harris. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. He'll do it himself. Touchdown, Rebels! And that one will give him the lead. Coaches say we can't play you if you don't do what you're coached to do. We also can't play you if you only do what you're coached to do. That was just a great instinctive play. That's a lot of do's, so I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? All I know is that guy's fast, and he continues to break tackles and make plays and scramble outside the pocket. He can do it all, so I just I don't know what to do. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Back to the ground with the running back. Good surge up front, giving four out to the 18. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Wide open downfield. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Off the play fake on first down. And it's knocked away incomplete, and that's how we'll wrap up the third quarter. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Really need positive yards on second down after the incompletion. They'll snap it from the 44. Got his man downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. Mississippi State right back to the line. Grabbed over the middle. It's Coleman. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. This quarterback right now is in a groove. And he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. And 
And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. On the run, it's Booth. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, and he's got it! Touchdown, Bulldogs! This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. Got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. So an 82-yard drive there, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. The play-action fake. Caught near the sideline, it's priest corn. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. That was right on the borderline. You want to make that quarterback feel you, but the official thought it was a little too much The roughing the passer penalty. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. The Rebels will hustle to the line. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. And the Rebels have it with a first and ten. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Priest Corn. That had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Now on second down.
Caught behind the line. It's Harris. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. The Rebels are rolling down the field. Caught in the backfield. It's Watkins. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than they did here, but it was still a positive game. Here comes second down, and this crowd is turning it up a notch. The give to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now, how about that defense on the snap? They are in the backfield with great penetration. Nowhere to go for the running back. That defense was sitting on G, waiting on O. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. from the shotgun and there were some collisions in there and the D finally stops him short of the marker looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out so here we are on fourth down and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world it's good and now they've taken the lead in the final two minutes and set the stage for a great finish. Well, the offense and special teams did their job, right? Here late in the fourth quarter, they put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big-time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire. Who steps up and makes the big-time play? And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints. For moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Looking to pass. It's shaping. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they, they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to win. Uncorks one. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big one for this offense. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it again. Coming after it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Nice job by this defense. You go dime package. Why? Because you know the offense is going to throw the football. 
Great job matching up more skilled players on more skilled players, more speed on the field to defend the pass. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. Hey, and you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. They'll try to get it in with the run. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To throw, it's shaping. Let's it fly. Touchdown, Bulldogs! They've got the lead here in the fourth. Who can you count on in those big moments? Who can make those big plays? Who can you trust? And they trust the receiver to run a go and to run right by the DB. He makes the play, breaks the tie, takes the lead for this football team. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. they have the lead this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane create some field position and hand it over to the defense he'll bring it back from inside his five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. the Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work wants to throw on first down fires a ball now it's picked off he would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. Well, we've seen this defense make plays time and time again in this game. They may have just sealed it with that takeaway. Mississippi State will just try to use the clock. From the gun, running back on the move. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Motion from the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes a stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Guys, after the miss, still up by four. All right, there's still life in the opponent because this team just had a chance to pad their lead with that field goal try. They knock it off the post. We've still got a good ball game. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. 
and they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this quarterback now, he's going to have to show off his poise, David. They practice these late-game situations, but how's this guy going to respond? And I got a little bit of time to work with here, so I'll watch the defense, and if they're going to drop back and play real conservative like they tend to do late in the game, let's get a few shots over the middle first before we have to take that deep shot. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Here's a throw downfield late. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Number nine. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. And they only need a field goal, and they have to manage the time wisely here. Yeah, I think you want to... And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. That kind of play will put a jolt into a drive. It's first and 10 from just inside the 40. Find space on the right. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. All the plays, all the plans, all the schemes, and it will be decided on this kick. And it's right down the boulevard. And they tie the game in the final second. Wow, and with that field goal with so little time left here in the game, it looks like this thing's going to OT. You have to give that young guy so much credit. He had the weight of the world on his shoulders, and he's able to knock it through. You've still got some football left here, guys. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Okay, long way to go here. Are you content to play for overtime, Dave? And that's the question. Don't make the mistake here. You can be aggressive, Jesse, but you better be cautious. Yeah, I, I think taking a shot, I feel pretty good about it here. You know, give your guys an opportunity. Crazier things have happened. All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? So here comes our first play of overtime. Give to the back. Brought down after picking up three down to the 22. It's just so nice to know you can start off on the first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Mississippi State starts overtime with a first and ten. 
Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. These read option plays are very hard to stop because you got to have enough guys in the box to play that immediate run, but also always be ready for that quarterback to take the ball and scoot out wide. And when the quarterback operates this like a magician, it makes it even tougher. Yeah, when he can see it, read it, and just flat go, those easy plays right there. I mean, he just picks up a little bit of yardage, but he can do it again and again and again, and it's just frustrating. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Swift the uprights, and now they have a three-point lead here in OT. Now by three, it's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win, and here's first down. The give out of the gun. Blast is way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow humans getting near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. To the air. It's dark. He's got his man. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. First and goal, and a touchdown will win it. He'll keep it himself. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat, and they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Barges ahead. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the foot. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in full goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Timeout called by the defense as they want to make sure they avoid any hint of a mental lapse here in overtime. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. 